What's up guys, it's Thief Chief here and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we have for you my FIFA 21 ones to watch predictions. So if you are enjoying the content, please subscribe. Over 85% of you that watch my videos aren't subscribed and it helps me out a ton. Make sure to turn on notifications so that you can get all the up-to-date sniping filters, trading methods, and everything else we do on this channel. And make sure to go check me out on Twitch. It's going to be linked in the description. Same as my YouTube name, just FiefChief49. We try to stream every day on Twitch, so make sure to go drop us a follow. So with all that said, let's go ahead. Let's jump right into this video. So guys, today for you, I have about eight players that I think are going to end up getting ones to watch cards in FIFA 21. And I'm probably going to try to do another video later with some more cards that I think are going to end up getting one of these dynamic player items so let's go ahead let's jump right in here so the first player I have on my list is going to be the man moving to my club Manchester City it's going to be Nathan Ake and I think he's going to end up with a nice upgrade on his card as well so what I've done here is I think he's going to get upgraded to an 82 rated card next year he's been fantastic in the Premier League Bournemouth has been relegated, so Manchester City going to get him on a cut fee, and I think he could be an 82-83 rated card next season. He's been fantastic, so I've, I've gone ahead, I've given him 78 pace, 83 defending, 79 physical as the key stats there, and I think he's going to be a super overpowered card next year. A dynamic item that's going to be super valuable because he's going to get a lot of minutes for Manchester City in the Premier League because they're having center back issues. So I think he's going to be a great item to pick up and he's going to be our first ones to watch that I think is going to be in FIFA 21. Into our next item, get rid of Nathan Ake here. We're going to stay in the city in Manchester and we're going to be showing you Jaden Sancho here. I think he's going to end up getting that transfer to Manchester United. I think they need to beef up that attack. Not that they're missing players right now, but their bench isn't very deep, and I think Sancho could help them out a ton. Would move probably Martial or Greenwood to the bench. Sancho would be a great transfer. And he's another card that I think is going to get a nice size upgrade in FIFA 21. So I've gone ahead, I've bumped his pace up to 90. I'll give him a nice shooting boost. Five more shooting, which I don't think will really happen, but I think he definitely deserves it. So I've gone ahead and I've gone for that. A bit more passing because he gets assists like it's a joke. So I've given him 81 passing, a little more dribbling, defending and physical a bit higher as well. But yeah, I think he's going to end up getting that transfer to Manchester United. He's going to get a nice upgrade for FIFA 21 and he's going to be a great card. So definitely look forward to seeing if he's going to end up with a one to watch. So Done there, Sancho. The next one I have here is one that's gained a lot of buzz over the last couple of days. It's going to be Thiago here, moving to Liverpool from Bayern Munich. This one isn't confirmed yet either, but I definitely think this is going to end up happening. Liverpool, I think they know that even though you win the title, you can't just sit there and do nothing in a transfer window. you got to keep improving, keep on top of things, because teams like Manchester United, Chelsea... Uh, Manchester City are going to be coming for that title. So I think Liverpool are going to go through and try to get Thiago. So I think he could end up with a ones to watch card. And I've given him a little bit of a boost here. I definitely think his passing needs a bit of a boost. And then everything else I've given a small boost to as well. Just because I think he might get an upgrade. He's been fantastic for Bayern Munich. Gets a lot of minutes for Spain. Which shows that he's one of the best midfielders in the world. And I definitely think he can end up with a ones to watch card in FIFA 21. So, into the next one here, going to be sticking in the Premier League, going to be looking over to Chelsea, and it's going to be Timo Werner, a confirmed transfer, Chelsea have picked him up from Red Bulls, as you can see here, I've given him a nice upgrade as well from an 86 overall to an 87, given him a bit more pace, a nice shooting boost as well, because his finishing is unbelievable, um, and then a small boost and everything else. But yeah, I definitely think he needs that shooting boost, a bit more pace, and maybe a bit of physical. He's been fantastic for Red Bulls, been carrying them, scoring a lot of goals for them in the last couple of seasons. And I think he's going to be a great pickup for Chelsea to replace Tammy Abraham and Giroud up top. I think he's going to be fantastic, and he can play on the left wing as well, which will be perfect. So into the next one here. Going to be a tough one for me to look at, but going to be moving from Manchester City is going to be the man right here, Leroy Sané, making his move to Bayern Munich. He, he just didn't want to sign a new contract with Manchester City, which is a little disappointing because he's a fantastic young talent, absolute beast, and he can only get better from here. Coming off an injury, though, we lost a lot of money on him. 
with the uh, with the pandemic and then with his injury. He was going to go for 100 million plus, ended up going for about 40 or so. I think might have been 60 actually. But as you can see here, I think he's going to stay 86 rated. I think he's going to lose a bit of uh, pace and physical though, just because of an injury. Uh, but I think he's going to improve on the more technical things like shooting, passing, dribbling, that kind of stuff. I think just because he, he's gotten a bit older, a bit more experienced, just kind of improved. But on the physical attributes, I think he might drop off a little in FIFA 21, but hold his 86 rating. But definitely a great young talent, could definitely get a lot of goals in the Bundesliga, and he'll be a good item in FIFA 21 if he does end up getting a ones to watch. So... Sticking kind of with the Bundesliga type thing, we're going to be going to the defense of a rival. We're going to be going to Dortmund. Uh, Munir here, Munier, however you want to say it. A fantastic player M moving from uh, PSG to Dortmund on a free transfer here. I think he's going to end up with an upgrade. He's played really well. Every time I watch this guy play, he's fantastic in that right back, right wing back, or even right mid spot that he kind of plays. He just seems like an all around great player. He can kind of do it all. And I think he's going to get a good upgrade. It'll be an 83, 84 rated card for FIFA 21. So as you can see, I've given him kind of an all around upgrade on his card. I think he's a fantastic player and a great pickup for Dortmund. I think they're definitely building a solid squad. If they do end up losing Jaden Sancho, they're not going to compete for that league title, but they can definitely still pull in and I think they'll get second place pretty comfortably next year if they lose Sancho. Just because Red Bull is losing players, they, I just don't think they're going to be up there very high. But yeah, Munir is a great pickup for them, especially considering this next transfer that we're going to be showing, which is definitely an interesting one, one that we're going to talk about is Hakimi right here, leaving Dortmund. So overall, so to kind of go through it, he was on loan from Real Madrid. He was on a two-year loan at Dortmund. Obviously performed fantastic. Everyone thought he was going to go back to Real Madrid. I thought he did go back to Real Madrid. But turns out he's made a transfer to Inter Milan, which is actually fantastic for him. That is a growing squad. They're going to be great. They got drawn in the group of death in the Champions League this year, which wasn't ideal for them. But... Hakimi is a great pickup for them at right back, especially a couple of years back since they lost versus Salco. He ended up going to Atletico Madrid. They end up picking up a great right back here. A bit more of a wing back, midfielder, kind of an attacking type player, which is perfect for Antonio Conte. You know he likes to play with those outside backs coming off the wing, supporting the attack, and feeding into guys like Lukaku and Lautaro Martinez. So this is a great card right here. Definitely think he could get some good informs because as he is the defender, say he gets like an assist and a clean sheet, I definitely think he could get a couple special items in FIFA 21 so I think this is a solid card so any sort of defender that's more attacking minded something like a Sergio Ramos like if he were to get a once to watch if he switched clubs stuff like that like defenders that get goals and assists are very valuable and definitely items that you should consider getting now into our next player one that really shocked me when I saw the transfer fee Victor Osimhen I think it's Victor <laughs> but yeah so when I saw this transfer fee I saw the price I saw was 70 or 75 million, which is unreal. I know he's a super good young talent. He's got a future stars card in FIFA 20, but this guy moving from Lille to Napoli, strengthening those front lines. So now they've got Mertens, they got Insigne, they got Lozano, they got OC men. The future is bright for this young man. He's got a lot of support, solid squad around him, and Napoli are going to have a dangerous attack next year. Will they be scoring at Atalanta type goal numbers? I don't think so, but they have the personnel for it. Now, OC men, I think you could get a pretty pretty big upgrade. So I've gone for an 80 rated card here. I definitely think his stats could be better in the dribbling and shooting, but EA tend to not give massive upgrades each year. It, it tends to be nice gradual upgrades, which is why I haven't gone for like an 82 rated card, any sort of like 84 shooting on OC men. Because he's absolutely one of the best young talents in the world. As you can tell by his transfer fee, guys like Sané are going, Sané, Ake are going for 40, 50 million, and Osimen goes for 70 million from Lille to Napoli. So a massive pickup for them could definitely be a game changer. Still don't see them winning the league next year, even with their revamped attack, but could definitely challenge for those Champions League spots. So that was our last one to watch card for this video, guys. Gonna go ahead, get rid of that. 
So that's kind of my first batch here. If you want to see another video like this, drop a like. Let me know in the comments down below. There are a lot of players that I think could get ones to watch cards in FIFA 21. So let me know if you want to see that. And if you did enjoy this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next video.